Hi guys, Melissa Hernandez here. I'm a celebrity makeup artist based in LA, and today I'm gonna show you how to use a lip liner in three different ways. To create the illusion of fuller lips, I'm gonna slightly overdraw my cupid's bow using this Thrive Cosmetics lip pencil in the shade Gislan. I love this shade because it's super creamy and it's almost an exact match for my natural lip color. So we're gonna get a super pouty, beautiful lip and it's not gonna look overdrawn. One of my biggest tips while overdrawing your lips is that you only want to overdraw right in the center of the lip and you wanna follow the natural lip line along the outer corners. To on your bottom lip, you want to slightly tilt your chin upwards and curl your lip inwards. And that will allow you to find the center of your bottom lip. The reason why I didn't fill in my lip entirely using the lip pencil is because it's one to two shades darker than the lipstick that I'm gonna use. So it's actually gonna serve as a contour which is gonna give us the illusion of fuller lips. Now I'm gonna show you how you can make your lipstick last all day using this Thrive Cosmetics lip pencil in the shade Devon. What you wanna do is you want to line your lips entirely using the lip pencil. And once you have this V, you can start working your way towards the outer corners. Now that we have the shape that we want, I'm gonna go ahead and shade in my lip entirely. And this product is perfect for this type of look because it's super creamy and buildable. So once the top is filled in, you can start at the bottom. And again, I always like to start at the very center point of my bottom lip. I'm just gonna create one line, and then I'm gonna start working my way towards the outer corner. And when I fill in my bottom lip, I like to fill in the corners first, and then I like to fill in the center last. You can definitely wear it on its own, but I think I wanna make my lips look juicy today, so I'm gonna go in with this gloss. And I'm just gonna apply it right in the center of the lip. For this last look, I'm gonna show you how to define your lips after applying lipstick. I'm gonna start by applying the lipstick in the center of my bottom lip. And once the center is filled in, I'm gonna move on to the top. I always like to start in the center because remember, we're gonna line our lips anyway. And I'm just gonna create a little baby line. And do you see how that created a shadow? I'm gonna go ahead and define the Cupid's bow. And I'm just gonna smile slightly. At this point, I'm not overdrawing or anything like that. I'm simply defining the shape of my lip. And then if you find that the line is too harsh or anything, you can just take your middle finger and just very lightly pat over the liner. And it's gonna give you a little bit more of a diffuse look with it still looking very defined. This is a great way to line your lips if you're in a rush or if you're a low maintenance kind of gal. And that is how you can use lip liner in three different ways.